Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. I'm T. Today, you guys, we are going over a hydroponic unit. Now, if you guys do not know what a hydroponic unit is, it is basically a unit where you grow in water. And you guys, I'm excited to go ahead and do this review on this hydroponic unit. Um, hydroponics is actually tested my patience you guys and that I'm just gonna be honest with you it is a lot of trial and error and I'm gonna go ahead and break down some of these pros and cons about growing in a hydroponic unit a hydroponic unit let's go with the pros the pros about growing in a hydroponic unit is that we get to grow indoors that is the best thing about a hydroponic unit we can grow indoors we don't have to grow in soil we still will have to fertilize the water, okay, with your N, P, and Ks. And as well, it's a great way to just get those herbs and those lettuce and small uh, patio varieties that you can just grow indoors. So that is a great pro. Let's talk about those quick cons right quick. The cons about a hydroponic unit for me is making sure that you do it properly. Now for my test runs, you guys, please make sure that you use distilled water. Distilled water is a must with your hydroponic unit. That's gonna keep down algae, it's gonna keep down calcium buildup in your unit. So definitely you guys, please use distilled water. But let's go ahead, let's talk about this particular hydroponic unit. So this hydroponic unit, you guys, is by Let Pot. And I think it's absolutely adorable, okay? It's absolutely adorable. It's a great size unit. This is a Smart Grow hydroponic unit. It did come with 12 pods, okay? And 12 pods is a great deal, you guys. But do not use all of them. Do not use all of 12 pods unless you are planting uh, small rooted plants, okay? I do recommend if you're gonna plant all 12 pods, small rooted plants, like maybe a gym lettuce or something like that um nothing too uh dramatic okay because if you grow a pepper a patio pepper and a patio tomato just do one of each do not do multiple ones because the root systems for those plants are very big so i do recommend that you do if you're going to do it plant one of each of a tomato patio and a pepper patio something that is smaller okay in your unit the next thing is you could plant little gym lettuces around it or even pop in a couple of herbs. Herbs don't have massive root systems unless they run, okay? So if they touch the ground and they start catching root, then yes, you guys, uh, herb can get massive. But in a hydroponic unit, not so much. So you could pop in lettuce, a patio tomato, a patio pepper, maybe even a patio cucumber because they do have compact uh, varieties of cucumber but please be mindful you guys with this unit you want to make sure that you balance out your pods and how much you're going to be watering because those roots will take off and you, and you will have to keep them watered so with the hydroponic unit let's talk about it all right so here is the let pot hydroponic unit as you guys can see it has the pods here you'll place your seed right in that hole right here. Now you do want to make sure that they do soak for a good little while so that they absorb the water before putting your seeds. And it does have a nice little water reservoir right here. As you guys can see, let me back you up. Let's see, all right. So it has a water reservoir here and it does have a max so that you know when to stop putting your water in. Please go to the local uh, supermarket and pick up maybe uh, two gallons of water so you can have a backup so you can fill your hydroponic unit with distilled water. And it does tell you right here is a little gauge that tells you your minimum and your maximum. Okay, so this is a little um, dial here that will tell you when you will need to fill your unit with water. So I thought that is pretty cool. Uh, I will not be planting mine up in today's video but i will be planting it up soon i'm trying to think rather not if i want to do maybe some bok choy or uh, lettuce or herbs so i'm still balancing out rather not what i want to do with this particular unit um, but it's a really nice unit and as well it did come with fertilizers a and b 
Um, it tells you exactly on how to mix them, so please pay attention to that. And if you do run out, try to check their website and see if you can go ahead and get a refill on them. Well, not a refill, but to get another order in or just use, I use uh, any water soluble that I have on hand. And as well, you guys, it did come with the domes. These are our little humidity domes. These humidity domes, you guys, will help get your seeds germinated quickly. So you just pop these on, and once your seeds germinate, okay, you're going to take these off. You do not want to keep these on because it can actually uh, kill your little seedlings. So once your seedlings emerge, take the little dome off, but it's just so it can help hold in a little bit of heat and you guys to get them going, okay? Next thing is you have your power, your veggie, your flower, and your pump on Wi-Fi. So this particular unit, you guys, does run off of Wi-Fi. So that means you can actually go ahead and download the app. And I tried to download the app for you guys so you guys can see. You guys, I'm not that technical yet, okay, with the tech gear where I can show you guys how to, um, what it will look like um, with the Wi-Fi and how to work the system. But you can definitely go ahead and download the app and go ahead and actually uh, work your system from off of your device. So here I'm going to turn on the power and the lights will come on and I will put mine in the veggie state. Okay, and the light actually gets brighter in the veggie state. And if you guys can see, it's a flowering and fruit kind of stage here. And, uh, but I'm gonna put mine on veggie and we're gonna turn the pump on. All right, so now that we have all of that set, the hydroponic is good to go. So I do have, I don't know if you guys can see, it has the red, blue, and white lights. And that depends on what you're growing. So this unit right here, when it's in the flowering stage, you guys, it will change to just red and white and the blue will go away. Um, so that's another thing to just get a little bit more um, feed into uh, the unit. But I think this is an absolutely adorable unit. I can't wait to show you guys me planting it up when I figure out exactly how I want to plant it. But um, it's always fun to keep on growing. And I know some of you guys have apartments, small spaces. And to me, this is a great way to utilize things that you cannot grow or you want to grow um, out on your patios or in your home. But this is a great way to utilize some more space uh, as your countertop. So that you have a space that you're not utilizing where you could just pop something like this. And uh, you guys, I think this is a great way to grow indoors. Is to grow. You can grow your herbs. You can grow your lettuce. You can grow uh, a tomato, a pepper, a cucumber. And I do not recommend you grow a squash, okay? No, I do not recommend that you grow a squash in such a unit, okay? But uh, definitely grow those things that I just mentioned. And you guys, when I tell you, you will enjoy growing indoors and outdoors it's just a beautiful thing so i hope you guys go ahead and check out let pot and you guys i'll see you guys in the next one and like i always tell you guys there's beauty in everyone's garden and bye bye for now go ahead and check the link and watch the next video up